in this. Are you busy right now, darling? Are you sure? Because I can call you back later if you... Okay. Um, so, funny story. A thing kind of happened. No, it's nothing major. I just, um... I needed to polish my sights after the Solwyn preparations we did yesterday. So I set my head on a side table, you know, so I could get a good angle to look at it from. Anyways, as I was polishing it, I might have accidentally bumped the table a tad with the end of my sight. Just a little bit. And the next thing I knew, my pumpkin splattered onto the floor. <laughs> yes, would you please buy another pumpkin for me? Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. Do you remember the weight and dimensions to look for? Great. Take all the time you need, alright? Don't feel like you need to rush yourself. I can handle the weight. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Well, see is a bad choice of words, but you know what I mean. Thanks again, darling. I love you. Darling? Was that you? That was fast. I told you there was no need to rush. You really do worry too much. I've been headless for centuries. What's another few hours? Yeah, you're right. I don't do great without anything to see out of. I can barely ride my horse straight. The carving knives should be in the same spot they always are. Hmm? What's your question? Oh. That's... A little hard to describe. Without a head, I can't really see, see like you do. I more so sense spiritual energies, souls, blessings, curses, etc. You know how you can feel when something is hot or cold without touching it? It's kind of like that. Yeah, it's much better adapted for the spirit world where everything radiates some sort of aura. No, most things in this house don't have any sort of spiritual energy to it. That's why it took me so long to find my phone, actually. The only things I could really sense were my pumpkin, or what remains of it, rather. My scythe, since it has a curse that binds its wielder to the mortal realm. Although, since I've met you, I like to think of that more as a blessing. <laughs> and, well, you. Not only can I sense your soul, but also all the blessings I gave you. Oh, did I not tell you about that? <laughs> yeah, I've been blessing you with good fortune and protection from evil spirits since we started dating. It's my own little way of protecting you, since I can't exactly go out in public without making more urban legends. Anyways, back on the topic of my senses, I can't sense anything digital since it's not tangibly there. Well, I suppose souls, blessings, and curses aren't tangibly there either, but you get what I mean. Trust me, it was not easy. You wouldn't believe how many wrong numbers I dialed before I got to you. And I had to spend a lot of time on each one. It's really hard convincing strangers to not call 911 after telling them that your head got smashed. <sighs> this is why I miss landlines. You know... We're really lucky this happened in October and not March like last time. Pumpkins are everywhere during sowing season. Right. 
Humans call it Halloween now. I still don't get why you changed that. Sewing was a perfectly fine name. Did you empty out the pumpkin already? Jeez, you're quick. Have I really given you that many opportunities to practice? <laughs> I suppose I might be a bit of a klutz. Sorry about that. I don't really have a particular look in mind. I want you to choose what my face will look like. Come on. You know my love language is acts of service and, well, you just carve so much love into my faces. I always appreciate how much thought you put into them. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Mwah. Honestly, speaking of love languages, I kind of wish you would ask me to do things for you more often. No, I'm not unhappy. It's just... I really love you, and doing special things for you makes me feel happy. But sometimes it's hard to tell what you want and don't want, especially when you've had an off day. <laughs> yeah, I would really like that. Oh, uh, of course, I can hold that for you. You know, I really couldn't have done this without you. I mean, before meeting you, if I lost my head, I had to wait until sin or Halloween came around to steal a jack-o'-lantern. And believe me, those were never my proudest moments. Some years I looked like a terrifying fanged beast, and others I looked like a doofus with two square teeth and a misshapen nose. It was never all that fun. <laughs> You're right. I suppose I'm a doofus no matter what I look like. But I'm your doofus. You know what? I'm going to treat you later tonight. How does that sound? Well, I need to pay you back, right? Fine, I don't need to pay you back. But I want to. After all... You're doing something so incredibly special for me. Let me think. How does a horseback ride at dusk sound? Just you, and me, and my trusty shadow steed, Luray. The wind at our backs, the sunset lighting the landscape. It would be pure bliss. Okay. I know Luray sometimes coughs up souls of the damned, but that hasn't stopped us before. He's a good boy. The nights are more fun with him. Of course I'll take you by the lake. Anything to see your smile. Maybe before our horseback ride I can make you dinner? I've been practicing your favorite meal when you're not home. You should see how much progress I've made. Yeah, that's where the groceries were going. I'm sorry for not telling you. I just wanted it to be a surprise, you know? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. To round out the night, why don't we watch a movie together? I can make the popcorn. Does it sound like a plan? Yay! I can't wait to do this for you. You deserve tonight and so much more. I love you with my whole... Uh, I was going to say heart, but I don't exactly have one of those. <laughs> Shut up! You're so mean. You're very precious to me, darling. I want... To make sure you know that. Really? Mm, I'm so excited to see what I look like. Right, I need to sit still. Sorry, I'm just so giddy. Alright, place the pumpkin on my neck. 
and I'll try my best to keep it balanced. You shush. I can be coordinated when I want to be. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, I think the lighter is in the far left drawer. Wait, before you light it, you need to speak the incantation so it bonds to my spirit and prevents rot. Do you need any help with... Oh, you memorized it for me? That is so sweet. You know what? I'm adding a massage onto that list of how I'm going to spoil you tonight. Sorry, I didn't mean to move around so much. Please continue. Those words are like music to my ears. Go ahead and light it. I can see again. Oh, it feels so good to... <laughs> Sorry. You know, a fresh light always makes me a bit gassy. Of course I need a mirror. I can't wait to see my new face. Oh my goodness. It's perfect. I can feel the love you put into every cut. It makes me feel all fluttery inside. Come here. Let me give you a hug. Thank you for all your help, darling. You truly are my everything. <laughs> 